This Pentecost, we're coming up on year three, beginning of year three, for our Go Make Disciples evangelizing initiative. And it's going very well. Uh, the first part of it was really leadership formation, priests choosing evangelization teams and working intensively with those teams and their staff and leadership within the parish to be formed more deeply in our faith, studying the scriptures, sharing faith, and praying together. Phase two is expanding that dynamic to the parish at large, offering more opportunities to grow in the four holy habits of keeping Sunday holy, daily prayer, monthly confession, and our penance on Fridays in participation with, with Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. We're currently doing vicariate meetings where pastors are sharing with me and with each other in each vicariate, along with their lay leadership leads, how things are going in the parish in phase two, how that's rolling out, how they're forming the 72 disciples who are people already on fire with love for the Lord, want to share their faith, and just need to be a little better formed or equipped to do so, as well as just broadening the catechetical formational reach within the parish at large. And I've had three of the nine meetings so far, and every single one of them has been fantastic. There's not one parish that's doing nothing. Every single one of our, our pastors, our priests, our lay leadership are busily trying to offer opportunities within parishes across the diocese uh, to increase our understanding of the faith, to invite people back to mass, uh, to create intentional missionary disciples through small group dynamics, often using other resources such as evangelical Catholic. Uh, one parish sent out a, a letter of invitation to every registered member, uh, inviting them to come back to mass and to re-engage in the life of the parish. So I'm greatly encouraged. And I just invite everyone in the diocese to embrace the four holy habits. Again, that's Sunday Mass, daily prayer, monthly confession, some form of penance on Fridays, as well as getting involved in Go Make Disciples in your parish. If you don't know what your parish is doing, um, read in the bulletin, read online, talk to your pastor. Um, guaranteed, hands down, your parish is doing something exciting and wonderful for Go Make Disciples, and your parish needs you and your involvement and your witness uh, to grow the gospel. But I could not be more pleased as I'm hearing from pastors and leadership throughout the diocese how well phase two of Go Make Disciples is going. We're just getting started, and this is going to go on forever till the end of the world because it's the mission of the church. Go proclaim the gospel to every creature, make disciples of all nations, and baptize in the name of the Trinity. May you be blessed in your Lenten endeavor to grow more deeply in love with the Lord Jesus.